My name's Kaya and welcome to Your Science. We're going to take you on a tour of all the science societies and science faculty. Next up on our tour today is the Student Science Centre, which is over there. Um, if you guys have any general queries or questions about your course, first place to go. Let's go. Science Student Centre is the main um, sort of administration hub for undergraduate students. So if you need advice about your candidature or anything to do with how your progress is going or if you're unsure about any details about your degree, um, please come and see us, it's what we're here for. Um, we can also direct you to the different schools, so if you're not sure which school you need to go and see, um, come here. So yeah, pretty much we're here, we're open to all inquiries from science students or any concerns, we can put you, put you and the you know, students in the right direction. Well, Science Society Vision is get UNSW students together to discuss about science and get the uh, people who are interested in science to get more knowledge about science through our activities. So you can uh, get involved in the community of science discussions. You can know more about science from different fields uh, via our Facebook page and also get involved in different kind of activities organized by us, such as the poker night, the free barbecues, well, and also uh, the trivia night held in, uh, held in the um, roundhouse last year, and also um, the career information night, and as well as a uh, week store and foundation day store as well. First we're going to go to the Material Science and Chemistry Building. This is our Chemistry School office over here. First we're going to go have a look at the school labs. Now we're going to go to the Student Chemistry office, just over here. I'm the student support manager at the School of Chemistry, so I'm probably the best first point of call for any student inquiries. Um, all of our first year courses um, have some sort of assumed knowledge to them, so um, my recommendation for students is if they don't have a really strong background in chemistry and they're concerned about the pace that they can go through the course content, it's probably a good idea to come and chat to me um, and we can sort through maybe some extra help throughout the semester to just make sure that everything's all good. So the Students of Chemistry Society is an all-inclusive society that represents first years all the way up to the staff. Mm -hmm. Our job is to organise social events. Um, some of the ones we have coming up this year include uh, several barbecues that we run, a trivia night, a movie night, as well as um, the main event which is the chem ball. Coming along to the society events is a great way to meet new people in first year as well as people from older years that can help integrate you into the university life. The Material and Science Schools offers really, really small classes so you get to know, experience and approachable lecturers. The school also offers a 60-day practical experience and you also get to participate in a poster presentation. This is the student office for the material science students. And now we're off to the physics and math school. In addition to tutorials, the School of Mathematics and Statistics also has consultation hours and student support scheme. Over here we have the first year math labs. Free help is also available, so please see the school with your math questions and make the most of it. Please make sure that you've got the right assumed knowledge for the right maths courses. If you're unsure, please see Francie. So at MathSoc, we actually provide an opportunity for kids to have uh, you know, everyday mathematic interesting discussions, um, especially on our online page, uh, the Facebook page that we have. Um, and we also have an opportunity for kids to sort of uh, discuss uh, their course choosing opportunities as well as homework help. Um, apart from this, we also have a lot of networking events that we organise on a regular basis. Um, and we also have career related events, barbecues for um, our students and members to come in and, and take part. And it sort of provides them an opportunity for them to know each other. Um, but also, you know, last year we invited uh, a representative to come in from Jane Street, which is a quantitative um, trading firm, um, to come in and have a talk with some of our kids and sort of give them an, a career insight. On the third floor of the MAP uh, building, um, so the east wing of the Red Centre, we've actually got uh, 
uh, homework help center, uh, and it's basically uh, uh, you know PhD students you know in their spare time trying to help out students who have problems with their coursework. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to try use it in my fifth year, but I don't know how much that's going to help me. But. And now we're off to the School of Physics this way. Make sure you are enrolled in the correct physics course. If you are not sure, please come and see me. Higher Physics 1A is special, uh, that's Physics 1141, is designed for physics majors. And science students can enroll in Physics 1A, that is Physics 1141, and High Physics 1A, Physics 1131, or Fundamentals of Physics, Physics 1111. So if you are struggling with the, the level of physics you are taking, Please come and see me so I can swap your enrollment to a low physics course. So you must do this within the first three weeks of the semester. FISOC is the Physics Society of the University of New South Wales and what we aim to do is provide support for physics students, in particular the physics majors, although engineers are also welcome. And what we do is provide them with lots of um, resources such as books and computers in our FISOC room, as well as provide a general kind of community for the physics students since there's not that many of them. We have our talks with various professors who tell us about what kind of work uh, they do and anyone's welcome to come join that. We have our morning tea, sometimes with champagne. And we do have our end of semester dinner, which happens every semester at one of the uh, restaurants along Anzac Parade. And the number one suggestion would be to visit the Physics Society room, which is at the bottom floor of the old main building, because that's where you can ask help from the older years. They're always willing to give you help with your assignments. Well, not answer them for you, but they do get to teach you a lot of things, as well as use our resources like textbooks and computers. Hi, I'm Jamisha. We'll now be heading over to aviation and optometry. Optometry is this way, but first we're going to head over to aviation. It is very important to regularly check Zmail. Emails to and from non UNSW personal emails will not be attended to. If unsure about anything, please ask Elaine. Well, the Aviation Society, um, what it's really about is getting a whole group of like minded aviation kids. Kids that either look at the sky, see a plane, get a little giddy about it. We get together for our, a lot of activities, we go plane spotting, so if you're really into aviation, aviation society is for you. Coming year, we're going to have a career day, which we will invite all the experts in the aviation industry, such as people with working quantities for a few years. And we'll try to get back all the alumni, those who graduated a few years ago, to give us some hints on our career plan. We have annual aviation ball, so we can you know interact with our lecturers more in the board, and also mingle around. And also we will have our sports day and barbecues. Always read the news about aviation industry, so when you meet your lecturer in the week, you can talk about that and impress him. And the next stop on our tour is optometry. The School of Optometry strongly recommends that you join the peer mentoring program in your first semester. Vision science students can also apply to transfer internally over to optometry depending on performance. Be prepared for study loads that span Monday to Friday. You will receive practical experience in the University Optometry Clinic. The Optometry Society is basically um, a student representative body for the Optometry and Vision Science students at UNSW. Um, basically what we do is we organise social events throughout the semester. So we do, um, we have an optometry cruise and we have the eyeball which is like a nice fancy, like a formal sort of thing. We can organise uh, these social events to facilitate like networking between our students and industry professionals as well as higher years or um, like other academic links and that sort of thing as well. We definitely recommend the peer mentoring program that we've got um, running. We've had it running for a couple of years and it's been fairly successful. Um, it's a good opportunity to get to know people in your grade, you know, because you'll be with them for five years, so it's a good sort of way to start up your, um, your friendships from the start. And also, um, probably one of the most handy ones is that McDonald's is just down the road, so when you've got a break during lectures, um, it's a great place to duck to and come back with some snacks. The next stop now to it is psychology. If you are struggling with your psychology studies, let the school know and seek their assistance. Students can attend a mixture of daytime and evening lectures for Psychology 1A and Psychology 1B. 
Check your timetable at MyUnisW for the latest tutorial schedules. Bachelor of Psychology and Bachelor of Psychological Science students can contact on this email to sign up for the Psychology P Mentoring Service. Psych Society basically aims to engage, support and connect students at University of New South Wales. Currently we have a really good reputation of being ranked 10th in the world, but um, some people find it quite challenging, so Psych Society aims to help them academically by, by providing workshops um, by honour students who are really good in stats um, to help secondary students. Mm -hmm. We're trying to um, basically vamp it up a bit more by having a best sheet camp um, in semester one having a meet and greet, so having a pizza um, in the first week so all the first year kids can get to meet other first year psych kids as well. Um, we're going to be having a cruise, um, other social events, even like a meet the staff sort of video so we can kind of get to know the staff a bit more as opposed to just being stuck in the lecture room with them. If you're pulling an all-nighter <laughs> at, um, <laughs> at Matthews, there are definitely showers in level 7 so that's kind of handy. We're now heading over to the BSB office which contains Bees, bads, and songs. This is the way to the main library where we'll be heading through the Matthews Food Court. For all first year students, um, if they've got any questions or any doubts or any worries, this is their first port of, port of call to come to the BSB office and they can have a chat to me. I'd like to introduce my colleague, Dr. Anne Galea, and she's the BAD 1201 Molecule Cell Genes Course Coordinator. So I'll be meeting all of the students in the first week. Hopefully you'll all be attending your first lecture and also you'll be attending your first laboratory class as well. BAPS or the Biotechnology and Biomedical Science Student Society is the that society for people that work or study in BAD. And we offer networking opportunities as well as social opportunities. So we aim to create a sense of community among BAD students. It's a big place in here and you tend to get a bit lost. And we aim to, as I said before, really put an emphasis on networking. So for 2014, we have Korea Night, so we invite people who have science degrees, mostly from UNSW, but from elsewhere as well, to come and talk about where their degrees got them, or where a PhD has got them. We also have uh, barbecue coming up, so social barbecue is interesting, free food. And the main thing that we really have is a bad seminar. So that's where a member of each lab in the school will have to present their research to the rest of the school kind of a day out of Coogee Bay Hotel. The main tip, and there's the focus of Bad Sock at the moment, is you need to get a professional network, and that's where Bad Sock really comes in handy. So join Bad Sock to network. One thing with the School of Bees is uh, the courses that we offered uh, involve field trips. And the field trips can be anywhere up north, Smiths Lake, to central New South Wales, and we even have a course with a field trip to Wellington, New Zealand. Common comments that the student gave us is that the field trip is a very rewarding experience and a very hands-on and helps them to understand the courses well. Make sure that you enroll in the correct courses, especially in the first year and the courses because we want to give flexibility to the students. It is important that they come and if they're not sure about the courses they need to enroll into, come and talk to me. Uh, GSOC is a student organised society that is um, dedicated to students interested in the geosciences which include the marine, climate, environmental and earth sciences. Uh, we have many events coming up for 2014. We have a formal bowl for students in the bees departments and we also have a, a cruise coming up as well, uh, many barbecues, we have um, a students meet uh, industry night and we even have a few pub crawls as well. A great hint for new students would be that there's really good coffee at the coffee cart. Well, most of you won't actually be starting any of our courses in first year. They don't really commence until second year unless you're a Bachelor of Medical Sciences student. If you are a Bachelor of Medical Sciences student, you don't need to worry too much. It's a pretty organised program. If you're in science or advanced science and hoping to do medical sciences in second year, there's lots of prerequisites. So my tip would be just make sure you're doing the right prerequisites um, for you know, commencing in, some, in second year. If you've got any questions, we're always here, either myself or Ryan, so, so drop in and see us so we can you know, check out that your program's on track. And one thing to remember too is we run supplementary exams, so um, before you make any travel plans or arrangements, um, just keep in mind the dates. So this year it's going to be July 15th, 16th and 17th.
Biosoc is a society for students who are interested in the biological sciences. So things like ecology, botany, zoology, marine biology and evolution. So we organise social events, um, we provide academic support, things like study sessions. We also organise careers and networking opportunities. And we raise money for charity and we're free to join. We're really excited because um, we're starting with a speed friending session. Yeah, speed dating, but um, G-rated. We're going to have a few peeps from documentary nights. They're always a lot of fun. Uh, we'll have fortnightly study sessions. We're going to be ra raising money for Bush Heritage Australia. We'll also be having one careers and networking evening. In the sciences, really useful in to befriend your demonstrators in your labs. They know so much, and even if they don't, if they like you, they may give you better. Thanks for coming. Check out the Wavelength blog.